It is no secret that the OnePlus 7 will be announced this year, probably sometime in the first half of 2019. The premium smartphone is highly anticipated because of the success of the brand's past offerings, including the OnePlus 6 and the 6T. Rumors have been swirling about the OnePlus 7 for weeks, with many already calling it the Galaxy S10 killer ahead of the launch. So hey folks, this is Samir and here is everything you need to know about the OnePlus 7. Excited? So let's get started. Let's start with the design. The OnePlus 7 will come with a new design compared to the past OnePlus smartphones. If the 360 degree renders are to go by, the front will be dominated with an edge-to-edge -edge display with the thin bezels along the top and the bottom. With the OnePlus 6, the company introduced a wide notch similar to the one we have seen on iPhone 10, and with the OnePlus 60, the company introduced a tiny water drop style notch, offering more space. Now with the OnePlus 7, the company is expected to completely do away with the notch and include a pop-up selfie snapper instead, just like we have seen on the Oppo F11 Pro. I know some of you may not like this new pop-up mechanism, including me. But that's OnePlus, who used to listen to their community and loyal fans, but now they just want to promote their flagship with gimmicky features, just like they did last year by adding a half-baked in-display fingerprint sensor tech that's not as accurate as the full-fledged sensor. Also, the renders don't show any slit for the earpiece on top, which makes us assume that the smartphone could come with a screen soundcast technology, where the entire screen is a speaker. Just like the OnePlus 60, the OnePlus 7 is also set to come with a glass back, but it is likely to miss out on wireless charging feature, as CNET quoted CEO Pete Lau saying, wireless charging is far inferior. Hmm, that sounds stupid. Getting rid of the notch will allow OnePlus to add a 6.5-inch AMOLED display, similar to what we have seen on the Oppo F11 Pro. But there is no word on whether or not OnePlus will stick to Full HD Plus resolution or will finally upgrade to Quad HD Plus. And renders also hint that the screen will have curved edges on both sides, just like the Samsung Galaxy S and the Note series. Now let's talk about the specifications. OnePlus has already confirmed that the next flagship smartphone will be powered by a 7 nanometer Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 SoC. Currently, the base model of OnePlus 60 comes with a 6GB of RAM and 64GB of storage, and the top model comes with 10GB of RAM and 256GB storage. With the next flagship smartphone, we may see the base model being upgraded to 8GB RAM and 128GB storage, whereas the top model could feature 12GB of RAM and 512GB of storage. For now, we know that the OnePlus 7 will come with a pop-up selfie camera, but there is no word on its resolution. Similarly, renders show triple rear camera for the smartphone, but it remains to be seen if OnePlus goes for a wide-angle telephoto and ultra-wide-angle lens combination like the Galaxy S10 and Huawei Mate 20 Pro or include a time-of-flight sensor. Just like the OnePlus 60, the OnePlus 7 is expected to come with an in-display fingerprint scanner, but there is no word on whether or not it will be an optical or ultrasonic one. Lastly, the smartphone is expected to come with a 4150mAh battery and runs on Android 9.0 Pi out of the box. At last, let's talk about the release date and the pricing. The OnePlus 7 will probably land sometime in middle of 2019. The OnePlus 6 was announced in May 2018, so May 2019 is a possibility for the OnePlus 7. Though we got the OnePlus 5 and OnePlus 3 in June of their respective years, so June 2019 is also a possible launch period. There is no word on what the OnePlus 7 will cost, but the OnePlus 60 started at $549 and prices have been gradually creeping up since the range began. So we would expect the OnePlus 7 will cost at least that much if not more. So guys, what do you think about this new pop-up mechanism? Do you like it or hate it? Do let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And for more future videos like this, do consider subscribing and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any future videos from Extreme Droid. So this is Samir signing off and I'll see you guys in my next one.